Welcome back. Our ABC News 4 hospital experts from East Cooper Medical Center are here this morning with what can be an uncomfortable subject and an uncomfortable condition. And Dr. Kelly Schaefer joins me with information on urinary incontinence. Dr. Schaefer, thank you for being with us thank this morning. Thank you for having me. So what exactly is urinary incontinence? Urinary incontinence is the involuntary loss of urine mm -hmm. when you do not want to pee yourself. Right, okay. <laughs> and just break it down in layman's terms, pretty much like that. And what are the most common types? Uh, there can be uh, two types or a mixture of the two. Uh, mm -hmm. One is loss of urine with um, uh, any activity that increases your abdominal pressure, such okay. as coughing, sneezing, jumping rope. Even laughing? Mm hmm. Oh, yep. okay. Jumping on a trampoline, running. Oh, wow. And what are the causes of urinary incontinence? Uh, there can be different causes. Uh, so, you know, loss of urine with coughing, sneezing, running can occur to women sometimes after childbirth. Mm -hmm. uh, can occur in both men and women after different types of surgeries. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I know that we're, we're talking about adults here, but do you see sometimes urinary incontinence when it uh, comes to children say of a certain age, because you would expect that kind of the, the, in the younger, younger ages, but do you see that among, let's say maybe um, teenage age? Yes, we How do early see. can it start? Yeah. Uh, it can start uh, actually at birth. Certain neurological conditions that mm -hmm. children can be born with can cause incontinence. Mm -hmm. um, and then after a certain time period, if incontinence persists, uh, we do some testing to uh, see if we can help children with this. Mm -hmm. Now, is that usually, can it be helped with medication or is surgery involved or? How can yes, you, uh, uh, there can be different uh, causes and treatments for the different types of incontinence. Uh, so first is uh, just figuring out what the type is, mm -hmm. uh, remove any uh, causative um, medications and uh, oftentimes we can really help people. That's awesome. Okay, now what are, what's the most common symptom that someone can tell whether or not it's Maybe they, their bladder is just too full and it happens, or what's the most common symptom that you find that someone should be concerned about having urinary incontinence? Uh, usually they'll come to me and they say, you know, my, my friends or my family think I'm in the bathroom all the time. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I'm having to start wearing pads, mm -hmm. uh, or they're noticing that they're having to change their clothes and it's causing them some embarrassment or distress in their life. Now, is this something that would they have to, would they go straight to a uh, urologist like yourself to see or do they go to their primary care doctor or how is that? Oftentimes they'll start with their primary care and if it's just simple uh, incontinence uh, due to some overactive bladder, their primary care may start them on a medication and then usually I will see them if they fail the medication or if their incontinence is a bit more complex. Now, when, especially speaking of complex issues, what are some of the ways to treat this? Because if someone is watching and they know that they've been dealing with it for a while, maybe they've been using some over-the-counter remedies and, you know, they're wearing the, the undergarments and mm -hmm. they're just sort of managing, you know, sure. their problem. What are some of the things that we can tell them that's out there medically that can really help their problem? And can it just be fixed completely? Uh, well, we uh, there are a variety of different things we can do. Uh, we do offer physical therapy uh, mm -hmm. for incontinence. We mm -hmm. also offer some in-office procedures, mm -hmm. uh, and as well as a few surgeries, depending on your type of incontinence. Uh, and our goal is to improve the incontinence. It's hard to promise a cure, uh -huh. uh, okay. but to um, uh, significantly improve the quality of life. All right, so if someone wants to get a consultation with you or talk to you about their symptoms, what's the best way to get in touch with you and, and to find out more information? Sure, I have an office here in Mount Pleasant um, and they can also contact me through the East Cooper Physician Referral Line. Awesome, and there is the website as well, eastcoopermedcenter.com. Dr. Schaefer, thank you so much. Thank you, Tessa. All right, now over to Dave. When you think of technology, you probably picture your kids 